Right. And the is coming, police act is coming back with the sword. It's, it, and, and, it's, and it's on a greater level than what we think it is. And I, I, I'm going to go into that in a few minutes. But I want to explain some other stuff to you. Ago Damien is to hoot it. Something is smoking like a mom. Huh? Oh, okay, okay, shit. This is coming across this light. I just want to know. Shit. I ain't want to put my hand down here and get electrocuted and shit. And then the shit get fucked up and get caught on tape. You know. Niggas talk about me from coast to coast. <laughs> niggas will be lick and niggas will get the tape with some bruise and then invite some motherfuckers over, watch the damn lecture, and wait till a nigga get electrocuted. <laughs> damn sure would. And you know that shit too. Just like that nigga that was shot, just like the shit on a menace to his society when he was shot the people, shot the Koreans or whatever, and was looking at the tape. Niggas would do that shit and say, man. We got Bobby Hemming on a damn tape. Got getting electrocuted. Okay. All right. So the Agos Damien is the hooted, and the Agos Damien simply means this particular point up here, which is the melanin, which is, the, which, which is also the melanin. So Spawn was supposed to get the armies of hell and unleash them on the world, and this asshole let some damn white boy come and damn fool his ass. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and fool him. Now, let's deal with some things here. The original devil was called Tiamat. Now, to access this, to let you know, first of all, let me get this book out here right now, because this is, whenever you find some shit like this, this is a fine. I stole this. I was up to the damn counter. And the spirit said, man, just take that shit. <laughs> so I cloaked and got invisible and walked out. But like I say, this is only a test. Don't you try this shit at home. You fuck around and be down the Fulton County on a nigga. You don't know what the hell you doing. You know. Uh, but this is called the Babylonian Genesis by Alexander Hale, or Heidel. H-E-I-D-E-L, H-E-I-D-E-L, the Babylonian Genesis. In here, this is the actual, this is the actual papyrus translated University of Chicago, them the people, the Oriental Institute, them the people that do all the uh, Egyptian stuff. So this is an actual papyrus translated from the Babylonian stuff. Now the Babylonian history is pre-monumental Egyptian history. Now, the only shit on earth is called Typhonianism or Draconianism. You heard me talk about that before, which is pre-monumental Kemet. But the Egyptians came in and had a war and they destroyed the Typhonian thing. And so the whole history of Kemet was this battle between the Typhonian, the earlier priesthood was suppressed. There was one entity that kept, tried to revive that, uh, that, yeah. that particular one in the last, in the last 26th dynasty, and all your shit from Jesus, we're going to get into that tonight, all the stuff from Jesus we now know was attributed to another man because we got his text. I'm going to go into the history of this. They don't have a, one, there is only one person that was supposed to be a great teacher that was supposed to come that's this, uh, Jesus is all around, this historical Jesus. There is a historical man, but he wasn't from Palestine. He was from the 26th dynasty in Egypt. And the reason why we know that, because we only have one legitimate history of this particular person that coincides with history other than mythology. We got this particular, so we're going to get into that in a few minutes. We got his sarcophagus in here, and we have his picture. So, understand this. The Typhonian, which is the oldest, because it didn't survive in Kemet, because Kemet kept destroying their records. The Typhonians or the Draconians. That particular information survived in Samaria as the equatorial Africans traveled out of Egypt, through Egypt into Mesopotamia. So it survived, so it survived, in, it survived in Samaria, Babylonia, and on into Greece, which the Etruscans took in. So the Greek shit is old, although the Greece is younger than Egypt, 
This is all the Typhonia that travel all the way up into India. You see, pre-monumental Egyptians are Camites. Now, in here, they talk about Tiamat. Tiamat is the original God that ruled the earth. She ruled the universe. Tiamat, after ruling the universe for, let's say, about a couple of billion years, she got tired. Her children were young. They had a great war in heaven that you hear of the Lucifer cast down. They had a great war in heaven, and Tiamat and her one of, and some of her partners, Mamu being one, which is the form of Awas, they were defeated. This is the Titan story, because it's Typhons. The same story is Typh is Typhons in Egypt, is Tiamat in Babylonia, as well as Babylon. So, first of all, the word Babylon for all the rosters, you don't need to be using that word as something fucked up. The word Babylon comes from an ancient goddess, Tiamat. Another one of her names was Babylon, and the goddamn city, Babylonia, was named after the bullshit. Because you read the fucked up ass Bible, and the Bible talks shit about Babylonia. This is a form of the supreme great mother. As a matter of fact, this is a goddamn in contradiction to the roster shit. Now let me explain this shit to you. Babylonia is called Baba a Bobby Lion. The Bobby Lion of the Babylon is talking about the Baba energy is the Christ energy of, uh, of the Babby energy, the sacred baboon of the Babby energy is a Typhonian energy that's going to come at the end of the world to fuck up shit. The Bobby Lion is the fucking Sphinx. Now the Sphinx is called what? The Lion of Judah. So the call Babylon fucked up is the call the Lion of Judah fucked up because the other thing for the Lion of Judah is Babylon. So stop saying Babylon. Babylon ain't falling, motherfucking Babylon is rising. That's the great mother. So niggas need to study history and get shit right before we start doing shit because we always, we, we do one thing. We go to the most fucked up book in the world, the Bible. Although the Bible is a great text, if you go into it, but to go by the shit, we always get shit out of order. So Babylon is one of the most supreme names of the goddess. That's why a whole civilization was named after the goddamn shit. How the fuck can something be fucked up and your people name their civilization the Babylonians? Think about that. Your people are the epitome of all godhood. And they're going to name their own civilization and themselves fucked up? Did you ever just even consider that Babylonian was the black people that used to live? You understand what I'm saying? Now, Tiamat, being old, which is a form of Babylon, goes and her children, Marduk, goes to war with them. As a result, the Tiamat of Babylon and her legion of people were defeated. Their, their children, which is the gods that we pray to, if your God consists of praying to a motherfucker, that's your child, and he don't have no power over you. I want you to know that. Pray the only motherfucker yourself. Their children, Marduk and his clan, after defeating Tiamat, it's all in this book, Babylonian Genesis, which is the same Titan story that I told you in January. This is an older story of the same shit, which is the older thing. The Egyptians got the same story, and he's Apep which is a form of Ma'at, the great dragon. But we don't know nothing about Ephraim. We see, we see, she's seen as the enemy because in Egypt, they, they got in a fight and they struck out the Typhonian thing and all the Typhonian material becomes energy, becomes enemy. Now, listen to this. So what she does, after she is defeated, and her legion, they need the, 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 the children put them into slavery, basically. This is just another form of myth. Put them into slavery. The older gods, their mothers and fathers, this is like your mother and father running the house. You turn 18, you go in there and kick your mom and the daddy in the ass and put a chain around their neck. Put them in slavery. So they ain't put the gods of the universe in slavery, ruling them. 
As a result, some of them pleaded with these younger deities and they said, take pity on them, and they said, okay. So they took the blood of Tiamat and these entities and made humans out of them, which the blood of Tiamat is in this book, and the blood of these particular chaos gods ends up being what? Can I hear it? The blood of the chaos gods, melanin, ends up being melanin. That's the true you, you see. So, these gods were changed into human beings, which the human body was made as a prison tank to house the Tiamat entities of the chaos beings. In Hebrewism, it's called Shem Hamafash, the demonic world. You getting this? This is another story of the same creation as the Titans was burned up and turned into human beings. The Titans used to rule, then Zeus and the Olympian gods came, burned up the Titans, got in the fight, burned up the Titans, turned them into human beings, and we have been slaves. But we go, when we go into the text of things, there is also a text in the Greek shit that one day they will rise up. So we're going to go into that also. So let's go on. So the original Tiamat also becomes Leviathan. So anytime you hear all these people talking about Leviathan 666 and Leviathan the devil, Leviathan is supposed to be a, a serpent that's supposed to rule at the end of the world. This is the damn serpent or the dragon right here, the Kundalini in your ass that's, that Moses lifted up in the wilderness. The Bible is hooked with the shit if you can go into it instead of going by what some other cracker taught you and some idiot ass preacher that we need to kill off now. We call for the death of him because Amalaj Muhammad had a spiritual prophecy in the damn book fall of America, and in uh, theology of time, that Allah is going to kill the preacher for lying to the people. And since we are Allah, hey, might have to cut heads. They will live on, well, we all black people. They will live beyond this shit. But too bad we are a divine, peaceful people. And we, we you know, otherwise they'd be fucked. <laughs> okay, let's deal with this thing. So Leviathan, the great dragon, is the serpent here, is, in the, is supposed to rule in the... I thought that they said it's Leviathan is supposed to be unleashed from the earth to destroy the world. I thought that's what Jesus was supposed to do also. Or God, with the wrath of God. See what I'm saying? That God up there ain't trying to destroy this shit because that motherfucker is still trying to rule. Because he's a subordinate deity that don't want his parents to wake up. Which is us now. You getting it? Okay, okay, so Tiamat becomes Leviathan, or Leviathan and Tiamat, also you hear the word Lilith, the first wife of Adam, that's the form of Tiamat. Sophia, in, 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 in Greek mythology, in Egyptian mythology, Sophia, Lilith is a form of that, the goddess Sekhmet, the lion, the Babylonian, the Babylon, the goddess Sekhmet, the lion of Judah is a form of that. Lilith, uh, Shekinah in the Kabbalah is a form of that fallen entity. Ma'at in Egypt is a form of that particular form and eat form of uh, that, that entity. And Layla, Lilith, Layla. Lilith is also, Le is also Lilith. Layla is the, is the Arabic form of that shit. Same fallen entity. You getting it? The fallen daughter. Now, the human beings were made out of the blood of Tiamat demons, which is all in this particular book, the demons of Tiamat. We got a lot to go through. Don't leave because we got to get to the gateway. There is a way out of this motherfucker, and I'm here to tell you tonight. Okay? I found a way out the bitch, and the asshole Demiurge, which the, the, the subordinate deal that is ruling this shit, gave me the damn clue by fucking with me. Gave me the damn secret. Because that's how it says it's all in, in, in all of the mythology of the journey of the hero. What you need to be studying the hero shit just to find out where, how to hold, get the hero of a thousand faces. Where the deity that is ruling is so confident with itself until it later on undoes his ass. That's when the damn treachery and the cunningness overbears your ass and you give up the clue by being fucked up. You trick your own self. So you got to get the key. I, we got the, I found the damn gateway. You, this shit is, 
You gotta, you, if you don't stay tonight, this is probably one of the, I'm coming from the light of day. This is probably one of the, one of the most important ones. Although the last three have been very, very intense and very, very important, the last three lectures. So you got to get this gateway tonight. Don't leave. Fuck it. This is some shit handed to you. You got to get it. Now, so bear with me as we go through this particular lecture. So, the blood of Tiamat is the chaos blood, which is melanin. That's why in the Necronomicon, the blood that, that runs the demons or runs the great old ones are called the black. Go get your damn movie, Warlock Armageddon. And every time he got hurt, he bled black blood, because the blood in you is black. That's the melanin, chaos in the blood. The goddess, let's go through these notes. The goddess Babylon, Tiamat, is, is, is also what is named after Babylonia, which is the Lion of Judah. The also Sekhmet, or Sekhmaat, the word mat, or met, or meat, is also a form of the word devil. So the original, the original devil in history was the great mother, Newt, Aphid, Tiamat. She later on became the devil as Leviathan. So Leviathan is the Babylonian form of the great devil, you see, after she fell. So, Sekma uh, Amet, or the word Baphomet, which you see the Baphometic goat that I've shown, the Baphometic goat, which I've shown, the goat of Mendes, a Capricorn, the Baphometic uh, Baphomet goat, uh, uh, the Sabbatic goat, the word Met, or meat, also is an ancient form of the devil, which is Sekhmet, it becomes Baphomet, which is also this particular devil, also Metatron, which is the most highest angel of God. You see, Metatron, he's Metatron on one level, he's Samuel on another level, the yin and the yang process, which is the true God. Ain't it funny that the devil got all these damn names, but God ain't hardly got none? At least in the Bible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You debating on whatever the little shit is, just God, God, God. But the devil got all kind of damn names. Let's go on. The word Baba means prince of darkness. The word Baba. Let me show you what Baba is. This is the real Baba right here. It's in your brain. You see? That's Yoruba. It's all over the world. Even in Egypt. Baba. The Babi of the Babi. Hmm? Don't look. You know who you are. I'm just saying. That's my job. I see you. All right? All right. All right. Okay. All right. Now, let's go into some science so you can understand this. The tree of life. Because we're going to go back to the Bobby energy. The tree of life, the tree of life has some stuff in it. These are called the ladder of light, or ten luminous emanations. Because it is an emanation, it means that it's only an appearance of something. The real appearance is that these particular uh, emanations are coming from someplace else. Now, let me explain this to you. The Kalipop is the dark side of the tree of life. The Kalipop is called the kingdom of the shells. And the kingdom of the shells is where so-called the most gross deities so-called live. where the most gross deities live in the kingdom, kingdom of the shells. That particular realm of the kingdom of the shells is the earth, and these ten luminous emanations that we call the universe is emanating out of something else. That means that everything around us doesn't exist. We talked about this before, but it's illuminating from something else. And let me get a picture of this right here so you can see it. Get two pictures right now. So you can see this thing. Remember I turned this upside down. 
and I showed you the pyramid and the obelisk. Now, I had a big post of it, but I didn't bring it. I want to show you this. The Calippa, these ten luminous emanations right here, is emanating from one thing. This is Malkut, which is the earth, which is the fallen daughter. Let me put it on the, on the paper first. At the bottom of the sphere is Malkut, which is the earth, which is the fallen daughter. As you, as you can see on this particular picture, you will see a picture of a circle with a cross. Let me see uh, if I find my pen again. Well, I'll find it in a minute. Hmm? No, okay, I got it right here. You will see a circle. Now, see, you see this, this thing right here? Let's blow it up and so it draw it bigger. Look. So you can understand. This is Malku, which is the earth, which is the earth, and which is the kingdom. Now, on this picture, it's the tenth sphere. Now, this is very interesting. Inside of the tenth sphere is this particular dot, a circle, with this on it. X marks the spot. Now, look at this. In this particular part, it's called Ganea. Ganea is another word for the Hebrew hell, where the demons live. This X marks the spot is also the eye of Heru and the black dot. You getting it? Right here. The X marks the spot is the eye of Heru and the black dot in this particular part. This is the Calippi. So that means this entire tree here is being emanated from one point or one dot. Now, the astrophysicist Stephen Hawkins, who wrote the book Brief History in Time and he got a video out and did a movie on it, said that he knew that there was an end to all this bullshit or an end to the universe. Basically, the universe, the universe that they're talking about is a small closed off sector of the, of the, of the greater universe, which is this solar system, which some shit got out of hand. But he said there's an end to that universe, and the other people was arguing and said there's no end to that universe. He said, yes, it is. He said the end to that universe is one primal dot or point. That point is right here, and that particular point is the end of the universe is in your head. The buck stops here. It marks the spot. Okay, now, that's called the Calippa. The Calippa is the home of the black, gray old ones. This also Calippa Thos. The word Thos, this word, let me spell it out for you. For you right here. Let me get this, let me, let me get my, uh, my tree of life again. Listen. So this black dot is down here in this sphere of the Kabbalah, which is right here, which is this right here. You get it? Which is this X marks the spot. The name of this is called, let me, let me, the Calyp is either with a K or a Q. Calyp, pot. Right here, you see the word ha, or the word pot, the P-H, or either T-H, you get the word thoth, and thoth is what Tahuti, and Tahuti is this symbol right here, the staff of Tahuti, or the staff of Hermes. So the black dot right here, the black dot right here, is this particular glypha. Now, hmm? Somebody said something? Okay, I, I thought somebody, okay. Now, it is the home of the gods. The word demon, the word demon, listen to this, so you can understand this. Look at this. Watch these words. These words change meaning as they go to other civilizations. In Egypt, the older civilization, you got the word, this word here, Amun or Amen. In this case, we're going to say Amen 
or Amun. You got it? Okay. In Egypt, it becomes Damion or, uh, uh, or Damion or Damon. The word Damon the same way. If you take the D off of Damon or Damien, you get the word Amen, and the word Amen means hidden God, which is inside of you. So this word changes from Damon, Damien, Damon, uh, oh, oh, let's put it this way. It goes from Amen to Damon or Damon or Damien, and in Christianity, it becomes demon. And Amen is supposed to be the supreme God or the hidden one. The word Amen means hidden. The word Ra means hidden sun. That's the black dot, you see. So now we have to change these things around because the whole thing is when we're dealing with this particular Goetia, the demons of Goetia is just talking about the spears of melanin. I'm just still explaining this particular stuff in scholarship form so you can understand it. The Kalipop demons are known also as the Vodun demons. So anytime you deal with Vodun spirits, what you call voodoo spirits, that's tapping into the melanin Kalipa spirits called Loa. What's that? Which means lower energies. Hmm? Because all of this stuff comes out of Kemet and by the Hebrews being a Typhonian committing people, Amen. When it's uh, uh, when it's uh, at the end of the text, and all around the world, you still get Amen, which is talking about Amen means hidden. So when they're speaking of all this divine thing, and at the end they go Amen, people say so be it. That's the new, you know, that old bullshit. And it says hidden. They're talking about God and all this great stuff that they talk about in His prayer. Then they say Amen, which means it's hidden, and it's supposed to originate hidden inside of me. You see. The hidden God. So, uh, so yeah. So, uh, that's, uh, that's what that's actually talking about. Now, the um, Calipos is also Sirius B. Now, this is what you got to understand. Sirius. Hold on. Sirius B. Now. Let me explain some stuff because this is going to set up my other part of the lecture. Then we got to go. We got a lot. I got a little more to go through. We got a lot more to go through. Uh, we're doing pretty good. We're going to go into an elaborate question and answer, but you got to get this particular information. Calipop is serious B, or what is also called torturous. Now, if you get the Greek mythology, let me show you a spirit of torturous. Torturous. If you get the Greek mythology. Oops, If you get the Greek mythology, here's a picture of the earth. You might want to put this on the camera. Let's see. It's a picture of the earth for the people to see. In the most deepest region of the earth is a place, it's a little black stuff, or black center called Tartarus. That's supposed to be the Greek hell. Now, I said on the radio, I got a $50 mythology book. Let me see that I bring it. I happened to get this for 10 at Little Five Points. Anyway, the book is originally, the book is $49 now. Classical mythology. Big, it's, 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 it's thicker than this now because they added color photos, but it's basically the same book. Now, in this book, now, listen, now look at this. First, let me explain something. In this book, they go through the mythology, and the first thing they do is they show, the first thing they do is they show this. Uh, uh, just bear with me, I want to get this picture for you. You got to see this. First thing they do, the introduction, is they show this realm, and at the top of this realm, they got the word chaos. They got the word chaos at the top of this word. And all of this, all the way to here, is the heavens that used to be. So now, what I'm trying to tell you is this. All that you see here used to be in the beginning. The gods that we worship 
don't even get in this section until on into another section in the rise of Zeus, they show some other pictures of these gods, and we think that that's heaven. Now, do you see this? Listen to me. You got a whole nother pre-existence. I should have made it diagrams, but you know a nigga lazy, but I'll try to do it this way. You got a whole existence on this page of the chaos beings, which is us. And in this page, you get a whole existence, uh, uh, an existence of the Olympian beings, which is the motherfuckers who rule us now. But these beings here comes before these beings. But these beings are fallen beings now because they fell into what is called torturous. Torturous that I showed you. Okay? Now, in the beginning, in this book, it says that there was Gaia and Torturous. Gaia now is known as the Earth. So, when we turn this shit this way, although this is the lowest in the last sphere in the final kingdom, why do they say Earth is the final frontier? Because Earth was in the damn beginning. It just wasn't physical. You see? That's why, how could the Bible say the kingdom will be on earth? As well as in heaven, basically. Because the, it's not the physical earth. The earth, the kingdom was covered over with a physical illusion. You getting this? But in the beginning, there was the earth, and there was tortuous, which is hell. And basically, these are two aspects of the same thing. So the church is telling you not to go to hell, motherfucker, that's what we're trying to get. Because in the end, there will be hell. Now the Gnostic scripture is the one that Jesus, that this stuff was taken from and plagiarized from before his name was named Jesus. When they asked him, tell us about the end. He said, you'll know the end when you know the beginning. The Africans talk about the first day. You'll know the end when you know the beginning. You see? He said, I'll take the last and make them first because the last is the damn first. Just went to sleep. You getting it? So hell is where we're supposed to go. So that's why the hell, the movie, the reason, the movie when they tried to tell him to climb up to the gates of heaven. The gates of heaven is the second section of the gods that I told you about. He said, climb up to the gates of heaven and spawn and tear them down. It's all the way back. Well, the church teaches you against yourself. Hell and torture was, is, was in the beginning, as well as Gaia. But what the fuck is this torturous? That's what we need to understand. You're putting it all together. The Dogon and the Sirius mystery are in the pale fox, which you can't get now. So get the Sirius mystery, Robert Temple's book. Says in their mythology, in the beginning before anything existed, Sirius B existed. If we know that this is out here is a reflection, then we know that it says this is the God who created both male and female from one single ejaculated semen in the Quran. He is the God of Sirius. In the Book of the Dead it says, I set up a ladder to the gods, but I am one of them, and I holler like a goose until they hear my prayer and report it to Sirius. The chief star of the Egyptians, the chief star of the Persians, the chief star of the Arabia, the chief star of the Hebrew, which is the star of David, or the star that the three, three wise men was following. The three wise men is the three fucking pyramids of Giza Plateau. Okay? It's also in the heavens, it's the three stars in Orion belt. You got it? On earth, it's the three Giza Plateau following the chief star in Orion's belt, in the center of Orion's belt, Sirius. But that up there is a hologram of the Sirius, guess where Sirius is? We sitting on the motherfucker right now. The Sirius B was in the beginning. It was a star. The star fell and the energy of the star, the core of the star is inside the middle of the damn earth. 
and in human terms is inside the middle of the brain if you deal with correspondence. Sirius is known as the chief star in every civilization. Whether you go to the Native Americans, the blue star Kachina, whether you go to Islam, it's, 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 it's the star in the Quran. It's the chief star of the ancient Kemet. It's the star in India. It's Harry. The word Sirius means hair. Harry Krishna. Sirius. In all the way in Asia. This is the chief star of the world. But where the hell is Sirius? Sirius, you sitting on the shit right now. And the Sirius B is on the inside of the planet. That's the hell that they're talking about. But it's also inside of us. Now, in this diagram, I got a picture of the diagram. This particular sphere of Darth, which is at the end, which is behind, which is in this particular one. Some Kabbalists don't put it on there because the, some of the Jews don't want to deal with it. Darth, which means dot, was up here. It fell, there's a little symbol right here. It fell down here. This particular dot is Sirius B inside of the Earth. Sirius A, which is dot, becomes this. After it rises up, it'll go to the crown, Keva, which is illumination in Christ. Y'all getting this? In this particular document, which I should have blown up, but I'm going to try to put it on the, 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 on the what you call it. You'll see a picture of a tree of life. I show it to you right here. I put it on the camera so they can see it. It's a picture of the tree of life. This is the tree of life that you're looking at right here. The tree of life that's inside of here is what's going to happen when this little black dot that's at, that I showed you, that's right here, explodes. It's going to give birth to this particular tree within a tree or wheel within a wheel called a New Jerusalem. If this tree of life symbolizes your physical body, show you this picture. You see a tree? within a tree, right? If this tree of life symbols your physical body, this particular sphere, inside of your head with this dot, when it explodes, it's going to give rise to a new tree or a new Jerusalem. You get it? Which is inside of you. That's the new Jerusalem. Let's go on which is Sirius B, which is a dwarf star that will one day rise up. So the original Satan is Sirius B, but they say, don't curse Satan in the Zohar. Even he too will be raised up, raised up as an angel of light. Let's go on. In the particular book, this particular book here, Kabbalah Unveiled, they got a section on the Kalipha, I want to read this to you. Y'all all right? Are you all getting this? Yes. I want to read this to you. You got to turn this shit around because ain't nothing coming to save your ass but yourself. But what comes, you got to understand, is not necessarily evil. If you are taught that it is evil, that makes you stagnant. What you're waiting on is the shit that you deny every day. Now, in here, and it is the shadow of God and the demons are the most gross part of the universe but it also says something very interesting here it also says that this Philippos is also called the saint and it is called the enigma of life which means that what we are calling he says that what we are calling demons is also called the saint the most the greatest statue on earth of the human spirit you see so the beast of Revelation is where? In the middle of the damn earth. That's the sphinx. If the lion, is the lion called a beast? Right? It's in the middle of the earth. Beauty sets on top because that's a, a head of a woman before they blew the nose off. Because sphinx, even in the Greek thing, is a female word. So beauty and the beast is the sphinx. And that's the fallen daughter Shekinah, or Tiamat, or Leviathan, or Ma'at, a set my art, which is a symbol of a lion with a woman head rising up. 
There ain't no man. How the hell is going to be a man here? If you go and look at every damn picture in Kemet, the most sacred animal with a lion's head and a, and a, 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 with, a, with, a, with a with a with a lion's head backwards and a, is a female body, which is segment. So the sphinx is segment. That's the great beast six six six. So in here he said, well, all of this shit we talking about. The Kalipop, which is supposed to be the dark side of the tree that no rabbis want to fuck with. They don't want to mess with it. Because the demons are supposed to be there. He says in this book, it's the Sphinx. Bearing witness that it, it makes sense. It's the beast. Now, the other part is the Sphinx is also called what? Horus on the horizon. And Heru is what? The Christ. So that means that the beast in Revelation this is another bearing witness that the beast in Revelation is the Christ. Where's the mark of the beast? It ain't no dollar bill. The mark of the beast is X marks the spot. That's in Malkuth. Which is where's the mark of the beast? It's the goddamn third eye. Six protons, six electrons, six neutrons, which is also carbon. Which is the basis of what? Melanin. Not no goddamn um, shit. Some Obaco. First of all, they're getting that bullshit from a white woman book from 1987. No, 1978. Your days are numbered. And from that woman's book and her damn research, all this other bullshit from the Illuminati and the dollar bill and, and the market of peace and the barcode, that's what that shit is. And actually, the government puts that there because they put that there. First of all, they said in the market of the beast, you would not be able to buy or sell or trade with it. Well, that's the dollar bill. Being that we didn't have no motherfucking dollar bills in ancient world, we traded and bought it. But now they say you got to have a piece of paper to trade with that profit that came true. That ain't no fucking barcode. That's the damn dollar bill that's been in existence. That's the true mark of the beast, even if you look at, even if some of the biblical thing does give way to physical prophecy, it would be the dollar bill or capitalism. Depends on what system you're talking about. You get it? Check. All right. Let's go on because I got to get to this. I got to get, get, on, get on to the, uh, so the Sphinx is the beast. It sits in the middle of the earth. Now, which is the Bobby Lion of the Baby Lion of the Babylon lion, if you look at the word Babylon, a Babylonian, you will see lion up in there, which is doggone segment, which is Leviathan, and which is Tiamat, because her name is also Sekmaya in Egypt. Sekmaya. All these are, films are, are part of the fallen daughter. Just get the tape if Seriously? you can't understand this stuff. Now. We'll be purified in Egypt. Give rise to something called, give rise to something called the white stone or the rock of ages or the white ship. And that's the mothership that they're talking about. It's inside of you. The rock of ages, that's inside of you. That's all a part of the same ship. The Damien is the primal name of Titan, Titans, and the sons of chaos. I'm just still uh, finishing off this demon thing. The demon is something that is left behind from the destructions of the Titans. This is what the Greek mythology said. The Damien is this particular material that's left behind from the destruction of the Titans. Now, to make a long story short, there used to be, to, 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 to wind this up, there used to be some shit called the primal world which I started off at the beginning of the lecture, that they talk about these damn medias, is this leftover shit, or these comments, or these leftover things from this particular world, before this earth was built, or this universe was built, or this particular section of the universe, the leftover material broke up in, in his medias and comments. Like somebody builds something, and you got chips on the floor, like if you build a statue, and you got chips on the damn floor. You get what I'm saying? But the chips is in our head because God, the original God, broke off a piece of itself and put it in each one of us, which makes it God. Okay, dealing with this particular information, the demons 
or something that's left behind after the destruction of the Titans or the Titans. When you, we used to be chaos beings or advanced beings ruling the earth, and after we was destroyed, this stuff left behind is on the inside of us. It's called the shadow. A shadow is something that is, a, sometimes they say when something is gone, they say it is a shadow of itself. So the shadow is that particular part of the primal world that's left behind, which is higher than the God realm in heaven that you are praying to. Okay? Now, that's what's left behind. A few things on the, on the, uh, the, 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 the serious mystery. The Persians or the Phoenicians or the people or the Vedic Indians are called, called their, the word Sirius leader. While the Romans knew Sirius as Jupiter, Leptius, keeper of hell. Satan, soot, or soot on or Anubis is the keeper of hell. So Azrazeal, which we're going to get into in a few minutes, which was dealing with the movie Fallen, which you got to go back and rent, is a form of Tehuti or Anubis, keeper of hell. It's interesting because Azrazeal came to visit me two nights after the damn movie. My girl saw something moving around in the house. She said, there's something in here. Well, she can see that I see in another way. I see through this material. She sees through another way. She said, something moving around in here. I said, what? He came in. She said, he says his name is Azazel. I said, oh, okay. You mean Azazel that we just saw in the movie, the Azazel in the Book of Enoch. Right then I knew that the Azazel was on our side. He's the guardian of the gates of hell. Depends on what you think. Go get the movie Spawn. That's Azazel. You getting it? Okay, now. All right. Uh, the word plenty, a plenty, a, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm reading. Plenty, a Roman scholar, associated Sirius with the origins of honey at the time of its rising. Rise. Sirius is called honey. Our solar system, or our sun in the solar system, our earth goes around the sun every 365 days. Our sun goes around a greater sun every 26,000 years. That's called the sun in Sirius cycle. You can get that information in General Master's Book of the Beginning, Volume 2. The sun in Sirius is called Sut Nessi or Sut Nubit. The sun in Sirius cycle, the black and gold one. But our solar system... It's called the Milky Way. That if the sun goes around every 26,000 years, the solar system goes around it every 26,000 years. And every 26,000 years, that's called the sun in Sirius cycle. Sirius being honey, the Milky Way being milk, that's the land of milk and honey in the Bible, right? Sirius is honey. Our earth complex solar system is the Milky Way. The land of milk and honey is the serious cycle of the land of milk and honey. But guess what? This is the most amazing shit. We're behind time. Because the serious cycle system of every 26,000 years is when the Dogon did the Siki ceremony on April 23rd, 1994. Then you can understand why the crackers turned the shit around and did the Save the Earth Day. You understand what I'm coming from here? The Christians, because you got to realize, Christian mythology, the Bible... You don't, you don't throw away the Bible. The Bible is pure scripture if you know how to read it the right way. Ain't nothing wrong with the scripture. It's something wrong with the commentary on who taught us the shit, mainly the cracker, the Freedmen's Bureau that started all these black ass preachers. The key is the people in church talk about getting to the land of milk and honey, right? Milk and honey is the serious son in sun and solar system cycle, or the sun and Sirius cycle, which happened on July 23rd of 1994 when the Dogon did the, the sacred dance. So in actuality, we behind time because heaven is already at hand. In the Gnostic scripture, Jesus said, heaven is all around your ass, but you just can't see it. That means that your third eye is not opened up. You see? But you, th but, you, but you see it all the time. For the mere fact that you are here. Okay, you got to cut. It's out. Okay, this is, yeah, okay. 
we just gonna just wait here a minute, let you. And oh, uh, you probably say, well, you know what? Well, hell, I can see this booty up in here, and still tell the woman that I'm at a lecture, and she think I'm at a lecture. Shit. Yeah, I had a friend. That's all. That, that's what he lived for. And he dragged me down there, and he'll buy table dances all night long. And them damn freak girls are just tell. They pump his ego up, telling that he the special one. And that nigga get that, that nigga would get that nigga would he 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 would get out of three hundred dollars in one night. Then he gonna tell me one day, man, we was living together, man, we roommates. Yo, what about if I move this 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 dance up in here and a couple other dancers and shit? I'm like, what the hell the matter with you, man? You crazy, you know? But he he didn't realize that they was only trying to get over on his ass because they needed a place to stay. So they just fill his little ego up and just take all his money. They love to see this nigga coming. Now, back on the subject. So, what I was dealing with is, the land of milk and honey is already here. It's been here since 1994 when the Dogon did the Siggy ceremony. That's why you got some crackers doing this damn Save the Earth Day. Everybody know it but us, you see. Now, going on, uh, going on, Sirius is called Tishtira by the uh, uh, Zoroastrians, uh, uh, Zoroaster, you know. Um, uh, it's called the Tishtira. Now, Isis is also, Aset is also called Sirius. Aset is Sirius. Um, um, As As Aset is Sirius. And the A in Aset, Aset means Sirius, but the A also means the great mother, Aset which are the art, which also means Gaia, the earth. Sirius B is also the earth. I'm just going through some of the stuff. We read some of the stuff, the, the, the past time. Sirius B is also called the stone seat, as Isis, or Aset, is also called a stone seat. You get a lot of this particular information in the Sirius mystery, also in Budges Osiris 1 and 2, which I went back and reread Budges Osiris 1 and 2. That is an excellent book. It's one of the best books that Budge read or uh, made other than Fetish the God. So get both volumes of Budges, Osiris, one and two. What's that, sister? Um, I want to go back to something you said. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I gave you, I, well, I gave you ten ways to raise the Kundalini on the paper. Yeah. Uh, that's one way. Uh, believe it or not, your third eye is already open to a certain degree. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to comprehend this or you wouldn't be thirsting for this. People are shut down and stuff is because the third eye is not open. It's just that we are thinking, we're looking for a vision. Third eye is thoughts. And for the mere fact that you're thinking right, your third eye is partially open already. So it is already, your spirit is already doing it. Already. You just need things to remember and things to remind your spirit to keep on going. And that list will show you certain things to do. Uh, the ten ways to raise the kundalini. Because the kundalini at the top of the kundalini is the third eye. So you raise the kundalini, you raise the third eye. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so let's, let's go on. Okay, Sirius, Sirius B, Sirius B, it was found right after the Civil War. No, during, right during the Civil War is when Sirius B was found. What's going on? Huh? Oh, what are you doing? Tripping what? Oh, well, ain't, 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 ain't nothing can fuck fake the funk. I ain't worried about nothing. You no, know? No, you just don't yeah. come up here and bogart. Yeah, now. okay, yeah. Talking that shit. Oh, okay. You, okay. Yeah, if it was, if, 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 if it was the damn, uh, what you call the, uh, you gonna throw back the if, you, if it was called the, um, the place where the, what they call the good fellas, which is the damn mafia motherfuckers, which is the mafia motherfuckers hang out, you wouldn't come up in their place goddamn doing some shit the wrong way. It just depends on your perspective. You know, you get your ass killed, you see. Okay, Sirius B was found right during the Civil War, right after the uh, 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 Civil War. Do it in 1862, because the Civil War started in 1861. So it was found at that particular time. Sirius B in the Greek is known as Astron, and Astron, which is the roots of astronomy. So the word astronomy comes from the word astron. We're just giving you some things to put on the tape at this particular time. Sirius in the Chinese is called the heavenly wolf or the thief. So if you ever heard the thing in the Bible, God, God or Jesus, or God or Jesus is going to come like a thief in the night. You know what I'm saying? 
Have you ever heard that? Well, serious, be a serious is talking about the thief, which is talking about your own spirit coming and overtaking you like a thief in the night is what it's also talking about. All right, let's get to some other science so you can understand some things here. Let's get to some other science. Yeah, they go, they, they go, they go one of my um, good running partners on the spiritual path, a brother that has helped me psychically. Remember I talked about a brother that uh, uh, did some shit and the tornado came through the jail and shit and told the motherfucker down? That's the brother right there. <laughs> so that, that brother there is, I'm good, glad to see you, man. Yeah, we go way back. Yeah, real spiritual brother. The word set, the word set in, in, in Samaria or Babylonia or Mesopotamia, you get the word shit. So the ancient word shit comes from the ancient god set or soot or shut. The word set is the ancient word is soot. In, in Mesopotamia is shut or shut. You get what I'm saying? Now, shit. Oh, yeah. The word, the word soot or shut or shit means excrement. Now, what is excrement? Excrement is what's waste or what's left over from the primal worlds. The primal worlds is the stuff that built this universe. That's what the media and all that is talking about. Excrement is waste. Now that word is, is very key because you got to understand the whole excrement thing. The primal worlds of excrement or shit is, is, is also, but Excrement or waste also acts as what? Fertilizer. The divine seed. Now the word, so listen to this. We've got to understand this concept here. The prototype of the so-called demonic thing or the, or the Satan or the soot is talking about excrement. And that's why the Kabbalah say even Satan will be raised up as an angel of light. That which is excrement, excrement, or uh, that which is waste is the only thing that can be fertilized into something new. Get where I'm coming from here? So the energy that fell, you understand, is the only energy that can be raised up. You see? That's why Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that the gods live on earth. That's why Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that the man on Mars, the master of Muhammad showed him a man on Mars in a glass. He said that these was eight feet tall brothers, but they used to worship us. And this monument on Mars is built from the Sphinx at the Giza Plateau. But this was the kingdom. This is the home of the gods. You see what I'm saying? But it's excrement of that which is left over from the primal worlds. That's what shit is. You see what I'm saying? You take it in, it becomes waste after you, but it also becomes fertilizer, which also grows food for your ass to eat. See where I'm coming from? It's talking about the regenerative process. The fertilizer uh, was also makes the divine spark of the seed kephra. This seed kephra, kephra is this particular dung beetle that does what? It hangs around shit. Then after it gets to a certain age or a certain level, it grows wings and flies off. You see? The phoenix is known as this particular bird that is burnt up and becomes ashes. Then it rises up as another bird, so it's a crow at first, a blackbird crow, which is alchemical uh, symbology. It's burnt up and, 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 and it's ashes. The ashes is excrement. It's, the burnt stuff is the excrement which is left over from something previous. Then the phoenix rises up out of the ashes and illuminates. So the titans or the Tiamat was burnt up or made into human beings. Only the human beings can rise because it is made from the excrement. The other guys don't have that. We're going to get in that in a few minutes. You getting this? Is this making sense? Yeah. 
Set or soot is the god of waste or destruction or desolation, abomination, or the word cold waste. Remember that word, cold waste. Cadeth, cold waste. That's what we're going to get into right now. In the beginning there was torturous, serious be hell, which later on became excrement or fall, waiting to rebirth again. Sirius B will give rise to Sir Universe B. So the black dot that's inside of you will give rise to Universe B. If this is a miniature universe, it will give rise to another universe inside of that universe. Now, this explains some terminology. Sirius B is the nuclear principle of what they call a God particle. Sirius B is also in your brain. That's just another name for the pineal gland. Uh, uh, pi pineal gland. It's also the New Jerusalem, and this is a picture of the New Jerusalem, a wheel within a wheel or a new ship within an old universe, giving birth to an old universe. Now, which explains this other thing that we got to get into right now. Zeus, who is this subordinate deity that's ruling over us, but does not, you, now in the, um, the, in the hermetic text it says that the God, is refresh this thing. It says that the God that rules, the God that rules the earth is midway point between the heavens and the earth. He is a subordinate deity. But he does not have, he does not have the nourishment to rule all of the earth, which is us. His name is Zeus, Jehovah, Yahweh. Jesus, 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 everybody looking for, that's the oppressor. Because the Christ is a whole different word. But he does not have the energy to control all of us. It also goes on in the text, it says, it is in a circle in the ground which has the most power. Which is talking about a circle in the ground is what everybody's scared of. You get it? Now, Zeus, who was one in the Greek thing that burned up the Titans. The mythology goes that he too will have a son. And the son will overthrow him. Now, go rent the cartoon Hercules. How many people saw the cartoon Hercules? Hercules was a son. He was born in heaven, midway point. But the God ruling the earth snatched at his ass, snuck up there and stole the baby. Once he stole the baby and he fell down into a physical earth and a physical body, he gained the melanin and the torture of spirits is on this level and he now possessed the ability to overthrow his own father. The prophecy is that this particular subordinate deity that is ruling over us and got us in slavery will have a son that will overthrow him. 